I'll explain everything on the way. Are we ready? Vlog number 12 we're on right now. We're going double digits. Soon we're gonna be in triple digits, but that's obviously months out. We have not much of an introduction besides that we're going downtown. This is someone that I met yesterday. It's a referral from someone who's in the building and they said, listen, you should probably talk to this person. A silver Lee, thank you very much. We're gonna be putting JoJo's test to the uh, limit on filming right now his limit to the test or his test to his limit. But essentially we're going to a townhouse. We'll explain a little bit on the way, but we got to get there. It's 8.39 and everyone's coming to work. We're going to business. So how I actually got this was Silverly, thank you very much. She works in the building and essentially said, you got to talk to this person. I said, oh, okay, what is it about? She said, she's on the 16th floor. She's a developer and everything else. I went right up there and the reason was because of this. She goes, this person walks around New York and in our building with a freaking camera. What does this guy do? Sure enough, went up and I said, told her all about it. She said, all right, well, I'm going to be there tomorrow meeting Con Ed and she has a townhouse and that's what we're going to be talking about right now. Just to finish that up, essentially, I spoke to her. It's been on the market for over a year right now. She put it back up for rent. And I told her, I'm like, why are you gonna put it up for rent? I'm like, it's, it's not necessary to put it up for rent. She wants it up for rent. They have someone, she likes the guy. I said, listen, let's go meet, let's go check it out, find out the pricing and put it on in the spring. So that's what we're gonna meet about right now. Video, video, audience, social media, where the attention is. It's all here, it's all on your phone. I used to live. Place gets incredibly crazy on weekends. You have Halloween, you have Pride Parade, you have just pretty much any weekend in Manhattan. It's crazy. During the day, they have the basketball courts over there and then tons of bars and restaurants. I think this was the seventh neighborhood that I lived in. All right, let's cut down here. So I don't think she wants to get filmed, but we're gonna uh, go check it out, as I mentioned, and if she wants to film, then that's awesome, but we'll talk to you in a second. All right, so we just got done with the appointment. Essentially, we were just checking out the townhouse. It's been on for almost a year. It's up for rent right now because the broker hasn't been able to actually bring anyone in. We were talking about the price. We're gonna do a CMA. We're gonna meet on Monday. She's running a half marathon. And essentially, we really wanted to go over, okay, who's the buyer? Where are they coming from? We're downtown. And I told her, I said, if you're downtown, the buyer's gonna be in this area, okay? No one really moves from uptown, downtown, because it's a little bit crazy. We pinpointed the actual person, the industry, and, and things like that. But most importantly is, we were talking about the actual specs of the house, is that it's a very unique house. They took the, the pillars and all of the joists, the old reclaimed wood from the 1800s, and made it into the flooring. It's L-E-E-D, obviously LEED certified. It's app controlled, windows are from Dade County. It's a really well-made townhouse. We'll discuss it on Monday with her when she's back in town. Let's go meet a buyer. We got a uh, first time home buyer. Actually, no, I'm sorry. The first time I'm meeting her and the fifth place that she's probably gonna be buying, not in New York City, but throughout. I gotta tell you, I love when the weathermen are wrong because I've ruined more shoes. I already put in 10,000 steps a day, minimum, in real estate. So I go through shoes like it's candy. And then I equally go through them when it rains and it snows and then you get the salt and the water in there. been on my mind a lot of people see the vlogs and they're like yeah but why aren't you like Freddie or Ryan from the shows listen once we get to 200 million I want to be documenting going to 200 million 300 million we're obviously not there yet however in 10 years I want to look back at this and be like I want to look I want to look back at this in 10 years and be like oh do you remember when you were da -da -da, 32 years old and you're walking around New York City and you Sort of were having people look at you in the subway and you weren't making that much money compared to one billion in sales or two billion in sales or 10 billion in sales. That's why we're documenting. That's why we're creating.
Okay, so we're gonna be meeting with a home buyer right now that came to me through a referral of one of my favorite clients. They're both exactly the same. So she's coming from the West Coast. I've actually never met with her. However, her personality is incredible. It jives with mine. Can't wait to meet her. She's looking for a third or fourth home because she stays at the Plaza and the Ritz and it just gets too expensive if you look at that on a monthly basis. So she's looking to expand her business and get a new place. So look forward to meeting her. Let's go check it out. So this is not typical. The broker's not here. The broker is actually out in Suffolk County and you just get the key with the doorman. Personally, it's a disservice to the owner. The pictures weren't that good because you're relying on the broker. You're relying on me that I'm a good salesperson. I am, but you're also, you want to handle any objections. Let's go check it out. She's looking for a pieter, one bedroom, studio, and to be honest, uh, the area is very specific. It makes our job a lot easier. The problem is she doesn't live in the city, but she is willing to do an offer without actually seeing it, which is obviously in her benefit. We're well qualified. We already got the finance and we already have the attorney lined up. We're ready to go. That was a total disaster. That's what happens in the brokerage community. So I only have a thin slice with this client because she's coming in from the West Coast. She's meeting with attorneys. She's starting a new business, a whole new spa and everything. And she gave me literally a one hour window and we were binging, binging, binging all these properties. And this is the one I really wanted her to see because it was the last one. And then the broker shows up 15 minutes late and my client's like, I can't wait. She's getting frustrated. She needs to see her attorney and then she leaves. And it's like, ah, it's one of those things, you know, like show up on time, minimal things, do your job. It's just a, a very frustrating time. So I had to stick around. I took photos for her. We already have a place that's probably where she's going to go. It's just, we got to get the right price. And uh, that's my job and that's where I come in. So we're going to go back to the office. It is now 1130. I know it's been a full day. <laughs> Jojo's nodding his head. Uh, we're about to go live and then the day is only halfway through. So let's go back to the office. This is the time. This is how many steps? 10,000 and it's only 1140. Welcome to Real Estate. I don't know what the vlogs are doing, but I, I just got a, a text message from this girl. We went out on a date literally three years ago and she just hit me up. She denied me at the time, but maybe she's been seeing the vlogs and she's like, ah, maybe this guy's actually kind of interesting. Maybe he's got somewhat of a joke going on. Oh, look at this. You can't even compare equipment. Can't even compare equipment. So this is the first thing I'm having in uh, probably about five hours. I need the energy. We're about to go live. This is what we do for you guys. My backpack, JoJo's got a backpack. So we go on Facebook once a week. Today we are going to be talking about how to sublet your apartment featuring Charles Potenston. Thank you for watching vlog number 12. I can't believe it. Not only had, did we get that far, but it's only 1238. I've done 12,000 steps on my counter. I gotta go downstairs. I gotta make some sales phone calls. Then I'm gonna have to go downtown for an appointment. Jojo is gonna be editing. He has a ton of content. Today's question of the day, are you still using Snapchat? If you're not using Snapchat, are you using Instagram stories? I got rid of Snapchat a while ago. Instagram stories is taking over. I wanna know your opinion. If you guys have any questions, any referrals, send it over to charles at I'll see you guys on vlog number 13. Have an awesome day.